Hey, hey, Facebook. Hi, Instagram. <laughs> Happy Friday. Hope everyone had a terrific week and is excited that tomorrow is December 1st, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to come on this morning and talk to you guys about the best business investments I made in 2018. I know that we still have a whole nother month of the year, but I've been thinking a lot about this year and how much has happened. And it's kind of incredible, you know, when you're going through the day to day or the like muddle and fuddle of life, you uh, don't really see how much you've done or how much you've created. And uh, sometimes it can feel like you're always a step behind and now sort of near the end, looking back, I'm getting so much more insight on everything that happened as a whole that I can kind of look back and really see. So one of those things I wanted to, I've really been thinking about and I wanted to share because I think it could be helpful, were the best business investments I made this year totally. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I'll just share really quickly that my name is Leah. I run a company called Urban 20 Something um, and it started from my, what was a blog, urban20something.com. And uh, I did not know that it was going to turn into what it has, but it was my side hustle for about two years. And for a while, for about the first two years, I made, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month from it. And it was just sort of a fun way for me to have something to do around my nine to five job and a way to be creative. And this last year, quite a bit changed. It went from just being this for fun platform to being something that eventually was a side hustle that was making me thousands of dollars per month around my nine to five job. And then I made as much from it as I did my nine to five job. Then my income from it exceeded my nine to five job income. And eventually um, I was able to quit my nine to five job completely and run it full time. And so it's been an incredible year. Um, most of that <laughs> of this last part has happened just in that last year. Um, I did it pretty quickly in that sense. And oh, hi, Adam. I love you. <laughs> and so uh, it's been it's been great. And I think that you know, before I really got to the place that I am at now, where I where I've really grown it to my what I have, I was I was really nervous a lot of the time about investing, and that just came down to not knowing what to spend money on, not knowing how to save money, not knowing how to decide if something was worth it or not, and just feeling like I didn't really have a rhyme or reason to what I was actually putting my money in and how I was really trying to grow my business. And, you know, it can be really tempting to sort of join a new flashy offering and stuff like that, but you don't really know if it's getting you to where you want to be. And so I've definitely spent money on things that haven't really helped me. Um, but here are the five things that I really think propelled me to, to get into the income that I wanted and then being able to leave my nine to five job. Hey, Sana. Oh, I love you, girl. Um, and so without further ado, I want to share these with you. So I'm going to count down backwards for anticipation. <laughs> so the, first, the fifth best investment that I made this year was Active Campaign. Now, if you have any sort of online business, if you have a blog, even if you just sort of are really active on Instagram and that's how you make money, whatever it is, you definitely, definitely want to have some sort of CRM or way that you're sending emails. Your email list is hugely important. Um, this has actually been the biggest factor in for me in, in my growth and in my income is having a really robust quickly growing and well nurtured email list. And for about the first year or longer, I used MailerLite for my email list and I did like it. And I would recommend it if you're just getting started and you don't want to, oh, you're amazing. And you don't want to, you know, spend too much money. Um, and you are just kind of new to the whole thing. The great thing about MailerLite is it is free at first. It's free for the first 1,000 subscribers. And another nice thing about it is you can create landing pages for free within MailerLite, which you can't do in Active Campaign or in a lot of the other CRMs that are popular out there. So, you know, not only when I chose Active Campaign did I have to start paying for Active Campaign, but I also had to start paying for a lead page builder, which I'll get to in a minute, but um, it is a bigger investment. That said, Active campaign blows every other CRM I looked at out the water out of the water, and I did do quite a bit of research. Um, oh, thank you so much! That's such a sweet comment. Um, I did do quite a bit of research to thinking which one I wanted to switch from. So I knew that MailerLite was no longer going to be robust enough for what I wanted to do. Um, it was a good free platform, but it didn't really have the tagging that I wanted. And I wasn't really able to keep track of where my subscribers were coming from, what they were doing, um, and email them in a really sophisticated way like I wanted to. So I did quite a bit of research on different CRMs and I chose Active Campaign. Uh, there were quite a few really nice ones, but I chose Active Campaign because of its incredibly sophisticated sequencing and um, 
segmentation and tagging. And I just knew that if I wanted to have a real online business and I wanted to automate as much as I could, which I really did because I, like I said, I did so much of this around my nine to five job. So I didn't have a whole lot of extra time on my hands that I needed all of that sophistication in place to make this happen. So I went with active campaign and to be clear, it is not a huge investment, especially at first, your first, I think couple hundred subscribers, you know, it's not free, but I think it's only like $9 a month or something. So it's worth every penny. It's paid for itself time and time again. It also uh, links and, um, you know, connects with a lot of other different platforms really easily. So it's it's easy for it to connect to ways to take payments. It's easy for it to connect to different webinar softwares, my website, you know, really anything you can think of. So anyway, um, Active Campaign was a great change for me this year. It was much better than, you know, any free version and even a lot of paid versions I checked out. And if you are looking to up your game, you know, you want to maybe get out of MailChimp or something a little bit more free and less professional than that, then I would recommend checking out Active Campaign. And if you have questions on how to get started with Active Campaign, because it is a bit mm, Cody at first, then feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Okay, the next thing that was such a huge investment for me this year, so just for everyone that's hopping onto Instagram, hey guys, um, I am summarizing my top five business investments of, of 2018, which really allowed me to get to where I am now, running this full time after what was just sort of a side hustle for fun for a little while. And so, oh, you're the bomb, thank you. <laughs> so the next one I wanna uh, talk about is Facebook ads in general. So I did start with Facebook ads a little bit before this year, but by that I mean I would kind of log in and look at the Power Editor and like cry. I, they didn't make sense to me. They were super confusing. I felt like I was just throwing money into a black hole. It was just not really getting me anywhere. And you know, the huge mistake was that I was trying to do it on my own. And Facebook ads are complicated. I mean, marketing in general is pretty complicated, but Facebook ads are not intuitive. And so I don't know why I tried or thought that I could do them alone, but that was not really getting me anywhere. So um, at the beginning of this year, I got a lot more um, open to the idea of, you know, looking for really attention uh, or a lot more specific attention and specific support and I started reaching out and being part of masterminds and hiring mentors and things like that things that I was a little bit nervous to do beforehand because it's not necessarily the easiest thing to spend money on which I'm gonna talk more about but anyway um, when I started really thinking that I wanted to get serious about this and I wanted to especially grow my email list I knew Facebook ads would be a really helpful way to do that so I joined a uh, a marketing specific mastermind for the whole year. And it also came with tons and tons and tons of really great resources on Facebook ads and learning Facebook ads. So in the first couple months of the year, I just really dove into that. And it was sort of like, you know, what I was doing. And I think that this was so important for two reasons. Number one, it was good for me to just focus on one thing. You know, before when I was sort of like this month, I'm going to make a new e-course and I'm going to grow my email list and I'm going to blog and I'm going to grow my, like, I was all over the map. And so that's probably why I wasn't seeing all that many results because it's just too much to focus on. And, you know, you really do need to, um, especially in those beginning years or months, whatever stage you're in, focus on the, you know, foundational pieces that are really going to excel you in the long run. So for me, I knew that my email list could do that. And I, I really studied using Facebook ads as a way to help that out. So this paid off hugely within the first couple of months of 2018, thanks to Facebook ads and a lot of other things that I used as well, but specifically Facebook ads. Um, I was seeing my email list grow by a thousand people a month. And then, you know, quickly after that is when my income started to exceed my nine to five job income. So Facebook ads are the best and most sophisticating form of advertising like ever that the world has ever seen. So if you have any sort of business, brick and mortar online, whether you're a blogger, whatever it is, and you're not using Facebook ads, I highly recommend reaching out to someone who is familiar with them and knows what they're doing so that you can at least get on the right track because it's just an incredible way to reach people that probably really want to hear from you. You know, you can get so specific with your targeting and um, it's just, I would, I would be taking advantage of it. I highly recommend it. Okay. The third um, best investment was that mastermind <laughs> itself. And I put that above Facebook ads for a reason because it really, you know, it was helpful that I learned all the mechanics behind Facebook ads and it was a huge factor in my growth. But being part of the community of people that were like giving me ideas all the time for different things to test and letting me know what was working for them and letting them know, letting me know what wasn't working for them and staying inspired and staying accountable and getting really, you know, 
getting information from people that were not only like creating e-courses on Facebook ads or whatever, but like they were in it right now. You know, they, the people that ran this mastermind run a Facebook ads agency. It's their, it's their full-time job. So they constantly were on the know with the new Facebook updates, the new algorithm changes, um, what was working, what wasn't, what you should be looking out for. Are they changing this and that? And having that not only real-time information, sorry, it's so loud here if you can hear the sirens, but having that real-time information not only was valuable, but also just put you, put it put me in a new game, basically. It put me in the game with people that were really doing this seriously, that were really not, you know, waiting for anything, that weren't slowing down. And if I was really going to get serious about quitting my job in this year, that was the sort of momentum and energy and um, excitement and confidence that I needed to be around. And, you know, my friends and family in real life are supportive, um, but they're not necessarily doing the same thing as I am. And so having that sort of energy and community was in itself hugely important. Okay, uh, best decision number two, we're almost to number one, so I'm sure you're all very excited. The best decision number two was lead pages. So as I mentioned, when I grew out of MailerLite and I had been using MailerLite both as my, my forms for, or as my tool for managing and sending emails, but also for my landing pages and advertising my opt-ins and my sales pages and any kind of thing that I needed to just make a quick page with that I didn't have on my website. So I was using it for both. So when I grew out of it, it, I had to get both a CRM and a way to make those lead pages. And so Active Campaign, I, I could tell that that was going to be the CRM for me. I could tell that I loved how sophisticated it was in terms of segmenting and automating and that I really wanted to, you know, use that and leverage that so I could do as much testing and exploring with my emails as possible. Obviously, that's how you, you know, find out the best information. But then that left me with no lead page option because Active Campaign doesn't allow you to build lead pages within it. So I looked at the software called Lead Pages, which I had had my eye on for a couple of years now. I had heard great things. I knew a lot of bigger online business owners used it, and I, it, it looked really you know, clean and easy to use. But it is a bigger investment than uh, some other options. And of course, there's always the option to just create things on your site, but that can really take a lot of time, and it also doesn't look as professional all the time. So this was kind of a bigger decision. But as you can see, since it, I ranked it as the second best thing I decided to do this year business-wise, um, it was completely worth it. And in fact, I've upgraded since then. And I love, love, love lead pages and the way that it's helped me um, test my audience, test my pages, design things, design things quickly, get things going quickly. That has been like the biggest growth of my email list. It's been the biggest growth of my sales. It has given me the most insight into what works and what doesn't, you know, being able to test different landing pages side to side has been so fascinating. I've learned so much. Um, and it's just really easy to use. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a fast mover. I'm, you guys can tell I'm a fast talker. <laughs> um, and so for me, when I sometimes, you know, wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my God, I just thought of a webinar idea. Like I want to do it tomorrow. Thanks to lead pages. I can literally log on, create a landing page for this webinar and then put it on the next day. And if I was having to construct that in my website, then that wouldn't have worked so well. It wouldn't have been able to be so quick. It also isn't as easy with the Facebook tracking the way you can do it with lead pages. It integrates so easily. It integrates with active campaign really easily. It's just the best. So to those of you that are hopping on Instagram, I'm talking about my best investments of 2018 for business. And we are on number two out of five. So we're almost to number one. You're very, at the very exciting time. And so lead pages was my second best. I really recommend it. And just like active campaign, if you are sort of toying with it, you have an idea for it, but you're not sure if it's for you and you've never tried it out reach out to me. We can hop on a call. I can kind of show you behind the scenes. And I have a um, sort of bonus for anyone that signs up through my referral link where I will uh, tutor you through how to build your first couple of, of lead page funnels and things like that. So let me know if either of those interests you because I don't want you to feel alone. I know it can be a little bit nerve wracking, especially with the bigger investment. Hey, Erica. Um, but like I said, it was hugely helpful for me. And then the absolute best thing I did for my business this whole year and the thing that I was like so not into beforehand <laughs> was joining masterminds. Now, just like hear me out. Before I did this uh, last year, I had never joined one and I didn't really want it to be honest because I thought, you know, I'm a pretty self-disciplined person. I don't really need a whole lot of accountability. I don't need people keeping track of me. I'm pretty good at sticking with what I want to do. I'm very to-do list oriented and I just didn't really know what the benefit would be. 
in my eyes, I thought that if I was going to pay for something, I would want it to be a course, something that was giving me new information, um, maybe an ebook or, you know, even a, a live program where there's new modules every week. I didn't really know, but I, I couldn't, I just didn't know how a mastermind per se without really any substance in it was going to be what would propel me. And boy, was I wrong. As you can see, this was number one for me. And that's because I really do attribute the masterminds I was a part of this year. Um, I was a part of three. And the combination, because once I started, I couldn't stop. I couldn't get enough. And the combination of all of them had just helped me throughout the whole year. And not only did it help me, you know, reach my income goals and map out my strategies and launch new things and think of new things and point out my blind spots and all the things I can't say enough good things about, but it also um, gave me, it made me happier. It made me enjoy the journey more. It put me in a community of people that I felt like were my friends. I felt like they were there for me. I could message in the middle of the night when I wanted to cry and break down, um, you know, or that they could help me. Uh, they helped me when I resigned from my nine to five job. They, they offered to do like mock quittings <laughs> with me, you know, all that kind of stuff that I just, I didn't realize how much I needed. And I didn't realize how, how transformative it made this process. And not only did it help me find that community, but it, there's also the network that comes with it. So having people that they can refer me to when I needed help with something or when I wanted to start hiring people or when I wanted to, you know, if I was traveling and someone was there, there's things that you never really think of, but things that really put you in a new arena that come with you having the connections and the community of people that are doing similar things as you. Otherwise, this can get lonely. It can get confusing. You can get stuck in your own head and, you know, that's counterproductive for everyone. So being in these groups, I'll never stop now. It's like part of my monthly uh, budget um, was the, the biggest propeller forward. And, you know, for a lot of us side hustlers, entrepreneurs, business owners, whatever brings you here, uh, you probably are have a big vision. You know, you probably are a dreamer. You probably have a lot of new ideas all the time. And that's really exciting and great. But if you don't have people to sort of like continually steer, steering you in the right direction and reminding you of what you really want to do, then you do kind of get shiny object syndrome. I know I did. And I didn't really see that about myself until I really started being in these groups when I could come on the calls and be like, guess what? So exciting. I have this new idea and people would sort of be like, okay, well, what about this old idea? Well, did you try this? Maybe this could work better if you did this. Like I did this once and this is what really worked. And those are the kinds of things that made all the difference, you know? And before masterminds, I was the person that was just like, oh my God, someone like, tell me what to do. Tell me how Facebook ads works. Tell me what to write in sales emails. Tell me all these mechanics. And I didn't realize that it wasn't about like the mechanics anymore. It was about who I was and how I was going to approach the different things that I was doing and how I was going to be able to find the opportunities that were coming to me and leverage them to grow. And that's exactly what I did. And that's exactly why this year in business was you know, I am going to make literally 10 times more this month than I did in November of last year. And that wouldn't have happened if it weren't for all five of these. But in particular, I want to just highlight the incredible communities, people, mentors, networks, um, and inspirations that have, have, have led me here. So those are my top five best investments of 2018. Just to recap, my fifth was upgrading my CRM to uh, active campaign. My fourth was Facebook ads, getting really good at them, keeping them running all the time, knowing what I'm doing. Number three was the marketing mastermind I joined. Number four, or I'm sorry, number two, <laughs> I'm going backwards, was lead pages. And number one were high level masterminds. So I hope these were helpful. And if you have any, um, you know, things that you really loved about this year, any good investments, any questions about any of these, please comment below. If this is on Instagram, you can direct message me. I'd love to hear from you and chat with you. Um, but no matter what, let me know that you, uh, or let me know which one of the five would be your favorites and that you tuned in and let me know what you're most excited about for the next year. All right. I will talk to you guys all soon. I hope you have a terrific weekend and thanks for tuning in.